Fragile States Index, Wikipedia Audio The Fragile States Index is an annual report published by the United States think tank The Fund for Peace and the American magazine Foreign Policy since 2005. The list aims to assess states' vulnerability to conflict or collapse ranking all sovereign states with membership in the United Nations where there is enough data available for analysis. Taiwan, the Palestinian territories, northern Cyprus, Kosovo and western Sahara are not ranked, despite being recognized as sovereign by one or more other nations. Ranking is based on the sum of scores for 12 indicators. Each indicator is scored on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being the lowest intensity and 10 being the highest intensity, creating a scale spanning 0 120. The index's ranks are based on 12 indicators of state vulnerability, grouped by category, social, economic, and political. Scores are obtained via a process involving content analysis, quantitative data, and qualitative review. In the content analysis phase, millions of documents from over 100,000 English language or translated sources are scanned and filtered through the Fund for Peace's Conflict Assessment Systems tool, which utilizes specific filters and search parameters to sort data based on Boolean phrases linked to indicators, and assigns scores based on algorithms. Following CAST analysis, quantitative data from sources such as the United Nations, World Health Organization, World Factbook, Transparency International, World Bank, and Freedom House are incorporated which then leads to the final phase of qualitative reviews of each indicator for each country. Methodology Considered together in the index, the indicators are a way of assessing a state's vulnerability to collapse or conflict, ranking states on a spectrum of categories labeled sustainable, stable, warning, and alert. Within each bracket, Scores are also subdivided by severity. The score breakdown is as follows. High, 101.09.9 Alert, 90.99.9 Warning, 70.79.9 Low, 60.69.9 Stable, 40.49.9 more stable, 3039.9. Very sustainable, 019.9. All countries in the top three categories display features that make their societies and institutions vulnerable to failure. However, the FSI is not intended as a tool to predict when states may experience violence or collapse as it does not measure direction or pace of change. It is possible for a state sorted into the stable zone to be deteriorating at a faster rate than those in the more fragile warning or alert zones, and could experience violence sooner. Conversely, states in the red zone, though fragile, may exhibit positive signs of recovery or be deteriorating slowly, giving them time to adopt mitigating strategies. Indicators The FSI scores, detailed above, are sums of scores for 12 separate indicators related to various aspects of state stability and strength. Each is scored between 0 and 10, with a higher number indicating a higher level of fragility. Indicators are divided into three categories, social, economic, and political. See List of Countries by Fragile States Index for rank of countries in different year. Years of controversy over the failed state terminology in the index's name contributed to change in 2014, with a shift from the failed states index to the fragile states index. Critics had argued that the term established a false binary division, or false dichotomy, 
between states that were salvageable and those that were beyond recovery. Krista Hendry, FFP's executive director, explained the change in part as a reaction to the debate the term failed state had generated, noting that the name was negatively impacting our ability to get the right kind of attention for the FSI. Several academics and journalists have also criticized the FSI for a lack of utility in its measurement criteria. Authors writing for the National Interest and the Washington Post have argued that the FSI sends a message that the solution to problems in the developing world is more state building, when in fact state building could be viewed as a cause of instability or fragility. Claire Lee writing for The Guardian in 2012, condemned the index as a useless policy tool which focused only on the symptoms of struggling states, ignoring causes, or potential cures. Critics have also identified flaws with the FSI's measurement criteria, as well as the lack of transparency surrounding its base data analysis. For example, Indicators related to refugees and human flight have allowed North Korea's score to improve as human emigration has declined, while this may indicate a stronger security apparatus in the state, it should not necessarily be recognized as an improvement. Additionally, Analysis of the indicators has led several commentators to conclude that a combination of too many categories and a failure to distinguish between government and state complicates efforts to utilize findings. Several have argued for greater transparency in scoring methods, a reworking of the criteria to give the index predictive value, and a consolidation of indicators into umbrella groups for easier comparison. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has based its annual Fragile States Report, now named States of Fragility, on the FSI, as well as on data from the World Bank, since 2005. On a monthly basis, International Crisis Group, a transnational non-governmental organization, publishes Crisis Watch a bulletin designed to inform readers about the development of state-based conflict across the globe. The reports indicate whether or not situations have improved, deteriorated or remained unchanged from the previous month, and seek to highlight where there may be risks of new-slash-escalated conflicts in the coming month. Social Indicators Economic Indicators in 2008, Brookings, a U.S.-based think tank, also published an index of state weakness in the developing world, examining 141 countries according to performance in four spheres, economic, political, security and social welfare. The report was written by Stuart Patrick and then Brookings senior fellow Susan Rice. Political Indicators Fragile States List Criticism Nomenclature Purpose Methodology 2 Related Indices <laughs>